Now this last part, we're given the random variable y then equals 6 minus twice the random variable x and asked to work out the variance of the random variable y. Now to do something like this, what we've got to remember is this particular result, that if you have the variance of, say, a constant, let's call it a, plus or minus another constant, say, times another random variable, we'll just call it x, then this is exactly the same as b squared times the variance of your random variable x. So do try and remember that result. I've done some of this work in some of my video tutorials where we look at the variance of combining variables and constants. This constant here just gets dropped, okay? The variance of a constant is zero. The plus or minus, it doesn't matter, it always comes out as a plus value. So you just square the b, b squared then times the variance of random variable x. So we pick up on this idea here. So we can say that this is exactly the same then as the variance of 6 minus 2x. Here's our constant. We can drop that. We can drop the minus sign. It just now becomes 2 squared times the variance of our random variable x. Now in the previous part of the question, we worked out what the variance of x was. So we've got 2 squared, or 4 in other words, being multiplied by the variance of x, which we found out was 21 over 10. So if you do 4 multiplied by 21 over 10, then what you're going to get is 42 fifths. All right?